welcome to the big one. This is uh, Daryl Peck, if you don't know who he is. Fish catching machine. When you fish with him, you just feel like you're running behind him going, Daryl, Daryl, wait for me, wait for me. Adam Rooney, ladies and gents, and Steve Ringer. That's why I always say taste first, then colour, and then obviously the smell. When you watch us on any of the videos, we'll cast out, donk, oh, mate, that's going. Just put on the rest, you just know it's happening. The, the beauty of a wafter is, it's, it's a very light hook bait. And this is the most important thing, as short a hair as you can possibly get it for the chub. Oh, he's in. He's got one. He's got in. One. Oh, he's saying he's got one. The most important part of my session is plumbing up. So I'm looking for features, I'm looking for a harder bottom. In my head, I have to know that that feeder is sitting right, my bait's there, and it's fishing. That is what they were that putting That is what out. we were using. We had these for going around a 100 acre lake, and the Belgian guys were like, Daryl Peck, he does not sleep. He is riding round at 2 a.m. looking for carp. What is this man? When we were sort of trying to visualise it, it's like, well, we'll sit on the M25 and your marker's Buckingham Palace, just aiming yeah, towards yeah. Buckhouse. It's <laughs> we absolutely were fishing in Peckham, huge. weren't we? If you could give one bit of advice to people starting carp fishing, what would it be? There's no secret answer to carp fishing. It's to learn some basic principles like watercraft, having a very good hook bait on, a good sharp hook, yeah? And, and using your eyes and just getting out there and experiencing it. Is Danny Fairbrass a good boss? <laughs> you wait until dinner tonight when all the boys are there, they'll be like, Dan, Dan. These are moving pretty slowly, these fish, right? They're not been... Yeah, I've got one feeding. Here we go. <laughs> He's having a look. Get in.